What's up, everybody? In this video, I'm going to give you my best bets for the NBA playoffs for Saturday, April 27th. Now, looking at our model so far, it's six and two in game ones, four and four in game twos, and so far, two and three for game threes. Now, we still have two more games in game three today, the one versus the eight seeds, and we're going to take a look at those as well today. And I'm not too worried about the model because sometimes the models take a couple of games, a few games to catch up to the current trends, especially in the playoffs and the early part of the seasons. But so far, I think the model's doing pretty good. But as I'm going to show you later on in this video, I have actual best bets that go along with the model. And other times when the model makes predictions, I don't go along with it. It's called being data informed, not data driven. Here are the spread lines for Saturday, April 27th. The Orlando Magic are two to two and a half point favorites against Cavaliers. Orlando Magic are at home. The Thunder are one to one and a half point favorites on the road against the Pelicans. The Celtics are nine to nine and a half point favorites against the Heat. For the Thunder and the Celtics, these are the first road games they've had in the playoffs so far. And then finally, the Nuggets are three and a half point favorites on the road against the Los Angeles Lakers with the opportunity to close that series out. So here are my best bets. Again, as I've been mentioning in this video, I don't go with every single pick that the model gives us. I don't go with the model in every single game. In fact, sometimes I go against it. I use that to inform my best. In particular, that first game, the Magic versus the Cavs, this is game four. Because the Magic are so good at home, and I would have known that if I hadn't seen the model and seen the data, and because the Cavs are not so great on the road, the model thinks the Magic are 8.6 points better than the Cavs when the Magic are at home. And the sports books say that the Magic are two point favorites. So because of that, and because of what we just saw in game three, I do believe the Magic will beat the Cavs by a much larger margin than two points. So that's one of my best bets. What I have circled there in green is a best bet. And I also have in that column signifying that that is a best bet. For the Pelicans at home versus the Thunder, this is game three, the first game in New Orleans. My model says the Pelicans are one and a half point favorites. Now the sports books think the Pelicans are underdogs. And because of that uh, disparity there, I'm simply just going to stay away from that particular game. The Heat at home versus the Celtics. This is also a game three. The model thinks the Heat are 6.1 point underdogs, but the sports books are giving the Heat nine and a half points. So I'm going to take those extra points. And that's another one of my best bets there, the Heat plus nine and a half. And then finally at the bottom there, the Lakers versus the Nuggets. The Lakers are at home. Again, my model thinks the Lakers are three point favorites, but the sports books think that they are three and a half point underdogs. Again, because of the disparity there, I'm just simply not going to bet this particular game. I hope you enjoy this video and get some value from it. Like I said, the models are great. They show us insights that we might not otherwise know if we don't know these teams that well, for instance. But when it comes down to making bets, I'm going to use that data, other information, my own opinion of the games as I watch them and see how they play out. Who's playing, who's not playing, who's hot, who's not hot. A bunch of things really go into making these predictions. The model and the data is just one of those pieces. So I hope you enjoy this video. Can't wait for these games today. Have a good one.